Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Member Request. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, or Pippi Longstocking, or the Wendy's mascot. I'll answer to any of those today. But if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. That's on Mondays on Fridays. My Millennial Movie members, my top tier patrons can tell me any movie of any genre and I gotta watch it. So if you haven't read the title or seen the thumbnail, today is the 1987 Roxanne. I know absolutely nothing, zip, zilch, zero, not a single thing about this film. I'm gonna do it. On films that I know absolutely nothing like I've never even heard of this movie before so this is what I am looking at and wouldn't you know it if one of my future ex-husbands are on the screen it is Steve Martin Daryl somebody I've never heard of that name before why does Steve Martin's nose look elongated why is he Pinocchio-esque I guess we'll find that out Roxanne I guess he falls in love with a woman that you know whose name is probably Roxanne. That's literally all I know about this film. I, I, I can't, I can't even make up another guess if I'm honest with you. I mean, I could go on and on about just like random things. I'm excited about Steve Martin. That's all I know. Okay, so no more diddle dally and let's get right on into today's millennial movie member request, which is the honest after Guardians of the Galaxy and Dirty Dancing it's gonna you're gonna have to have a really awesome soundtrack in order to beat those two films in the soundtrack department why did the 80s have so much sax in it Shelly Duvall I haven't seen her since The Shining I really thought she has only ever done The Shining you is this Steve Martin singing <laughs> it is him singing! Y'all know this if you saw my other Steve Martin reaction is I love his banjo playing videos on Twitter. Now, come on, it's a cop. You're yelling real loud for people who got that short of shorts on. Got a wide swath, pussy. Sir, is your ass hungry? Because right. this show is eating them shorts. Quite a hood ornament you got there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he already has a big nose? <laughs> he Reading does. That's impressive, Steve. At this particular time and place. Wow, what are you about to do? Oh. Y'all didn't tell me this was a Jackie Chan movie. Oh. 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 You know what? I did not think a tennis racket was going to be a worthy opponent for a golf club, but it is. Those are not golf clubs. I don't know what they are. You didn't take their shoes, though. I mean, you should at least take their beer. Is that the girl or the woman from, uh... Grumpy old man, the daughter. That's what it looks like. I love her hair. Fix. What the hell is she? Oh, hi. Is that Shailen Duvall? Look at that cat. Damn it. You about to have to get Nike to get back in the house. What? I didn't understand. I didn't understand. Well, thank you. I'm so, this makes me feel so much better about how much I talk to myself when I'm alone. She Nike at the fire station? Uh, you want a coat or anything? Yeah. Uh, need any help, Shay? Nah, uh, looks pretty boring. I'll take care of it. Very boring. It's definitely a one-person job. Nobody had a coat? But you said you didn't want a coat. She, oh my god! She don't have any tattoos. I think that's a wise choice. <laughs> uh, this uh, lock doesn't accept master charge. I'm gonna have to try the- Oh my god, that is so funny. Excuse me? There you go. I'm averting my eyes. But you haven't found your cat yet. I made us some cheese and some vegetables uh, au naturel. Well, that's very nice. A little, little much, but very nice. Oh, he can't drink out of glasses because his nose gets in the way. That didn't burn? That didn't burn at all? My name's Roxanne. Title line! <laughs> you know what a cork is? The thing that goes on the top of wine? No one's actually ever seen a cork, but we know they exist. So you don't know that they exist? The top and bottom corks are the most common kinds. 
How do you know what the most common con are if you've never seen one? No, subnuclear particles. Ah, uh, yeah. I thought so. <laughs> Me too. Oh, oh, I get it. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, that one was not on purpose. <laughs> Weren't you playmate of the month, June '85? Come on. That's a different. Uh, come on. All right, man, you ready? Okay. Right. Those are not. That's the same water hose. Uh, um. GQ uh, guys. firefighter. Guys. Who is that? Is that David Hasselhoff? Okay, that's 100% Shelley Duvall. Hey, what about your boyfriend? What's his name? You have a boyfriend? But how are you going to encourage your friend to shoot his shot, but then you're going to come up right behind him and shoot yours? I don't understand. Are you the wingman, or are you the guy who needs the wingman? I don't... Pick one. My breast will be heaving. She's really playing him in his own game, and he is not even catching it. You know what? Her noticing him, even with Steve's nose in this movie, I would still pick Steve. Are you okay? Do women make you that nervous that you throw up? No, he's just hanging out. He needs a place to hang out. I hung out on the roof of our trailer many times. Did you talk to your mother about it? But she said I had to clean up my plate first. That's really funny. You can make things up. I did make it up. It's true. Oh, well, in this case, that's sad. Let's just stay up here for a while. That's so nice. Sometimes you just gotta meet a person where they're at. We could pinpoint any fire in town with that. Perfect for us because, you know, we're the fire department. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Charlie, I can't hold this by myself. Oh. Charlie! Help her! Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, that was a good tactic, Charlie. I also fell for it. I think I discovered a comet. Yeah. Good for you, girl. This is too small. My uncle's looking for it in the big scope in Arizona. That's too small? What do you get if you're right? <laughs> Nothing. You don't get credit for finding it? And I get to name it. You get to name it! That's great! July 14th, 2200 hours, give or take 10 days. Oh, 10 days. Only a slight variation. The Viking just came in. Don't look now. Oh, God. Why? Why do people say, don't look now, and then the person you tell that to, they look? Are y'all ever going to talk? Are you going to go throw up again, my guy? Oh, he tripped. He's going to go throw up again. Oh, my God. What is his problem? I'm going to talk to her. Yeah. Give yourself oh, a... No. Oh, now you look like a piss your pants. Well... Do they have one of the air hand dryers? Because then you could just like put it on your crotch. Sometimes when I have really bad pit stains in public, that's what I do. I go in and I dry off my pit stains. Life hack. He climbed out of the window. That is social anxiety to a new level. It's really new. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's a niche. It's a very targeted audience. Oh, look at how he looks at her. <laughs> Hola! It came to me last night. It's That's not David Hasselhoff. Who is that man? He looks so familiar. I think it's a fantastic idea. Do you like it? I do. I love it. I you know, I think you need to be honest, Steve. I think you need to be honest. That's not a great idea. Something you should know. I know. He's got a big nose, right? I wouldn't just say it out loud like that. And you feel yourself not staring. It has its own gravitational pull. I'm staring. So hey, my guy, you're not one to be talking about somebody else's big nose, okay? But when he washes his face, loses the bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say we didn't warn you. What's this white powder they're covered in? Somebody have a cocaine party? I love that yellow car! You've got to use promotion. That way the town grows. Marketing's great, but I don't think a cow drinking a beer is top-tier marketing. Who are you? Hey, where are you going, big nose? That's rude. You heard me, big nose. Who's the talk? Caterpillar eyebrows. Twenty. Twenty insults. Let's go. Your nose was on time, but you were fifteen minutes late. <laughs> Some of the ladies have asked if you wouldn't mind putting that thing away. Oh, that one's really funny. And now I realize he's not insulting him. He's coming up with better insults towards his nose than big nose. Uh, would you mind not bobbing your head? The uh, orchestra keeps changing tempo. <laughs> okay, that was really good. Obscure. Whew. I'd hate to see the grindstone. I don't. I don't get that one. I don't get that one. Editing Ashley. <laughs> um, I understand now because the phrase is nose to the grindstone. 
when you're like really busy or working on something. So that's the joke is like, if that's your nose and I'd hate to see the grindstone. And anyways, I got the joke now. Pornographic. Finally, a man who can satisfy two women at once. Oh my God. I mean, four if he wants to use hands. Paranoid. Keep that guy away from my cocaine. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's fallen. Man, bruised nose, bruised yeah. groin, bruised ego. Why didn't she talk to him? Why isn't she talking to him then? Since he doesn't want to talk to her. I've got a three o'clock, I've got a five o'clock, and the women are just lined up. I was gonna say, you have appointments with women at three and five? Oh, you mean uh, how the size of a man's nose relates to the size of his... <gasps> oh, Lord Steve, you scandalous, you dirty. Ooh. And picks. Thanks, Bernie. Well, you drank out of that glass, no problem. You didn't need a straw for that one. Rhinoplasty. I mean, it's so unpleasant. It ranks right up there with hemorrhoid. <laughs> and I think she's fallen in love, but she doesn't know it yet. Are you referring to Steve, or are you referring to the guy who's too scared to talk to him? You all right? Don't say anything. I, Don't say uh... anything about it. Don't say anything about it. They said it was big, but I didn't expect it to be big. That's what she said. <gasps> He's in a really good mood about Roxanne. Finally got a sense of humor about your nose, huh? <laughs> no, he doesn't. And not your place to bring it up. And three. Right. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. One and two. Movies always depict firefighters holding multiple firefighters holding one hose. And I'm sure I could Google this. I don't know how much pressure is produced when the water comes out of a fire hose. But is it really necessary for three people to hold on to it? And why do I kind of want to try to hold one by myself and record it to see what happens? Oh, well, <laughs> ask and it will be answered. <gasps> I've always wondered how they open a fire hydrant. Am I gonna find out today? Oh, no, I'm not gonna find out today. Okay, was I right? Yep. It's ugly. That's beautiful and romantic, and this is perfect. I think he wants to talk to me. I can see him trying, but he won't. Oh, she's talking about the other guy already. Handsome. Absolutely, you, Steve. We've never even spoken. We just exchanged a couple of goofy looks. Ah, uh, now I hope Charlie's realizing it's not about him. Thanks. I know I'm forward. Girl, you kissed the other guy and grumpy old man on the cheek too. You're such a little like tease. You're such a little tease and a flirt. I want a cute little purr, little petite little button nose. <laughs> I thought it was a therapist at first. I didn't realize it was a plastic surgeon. Get used to it. Eighty-five dollars, please. I think my new therapist watches my videos, so I'm not gonna make a joke about that. Don't feel bad about your nose. I have a crooked nose. You can really see how crooked it is when I look like this. It just kind of says, Wah. I can't remember what his real nose looks uh, like now. Interesting, yeah, did you see her legs? <laughs> what, what about her brain? What about her astrology work? Heard she's kind of smart too, astrology or something. Astronomy, yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't matter because her legs. Tough game, eh, ladies? We're just on our way there. <laughs> <laughs> Already bitching, I ain't even played. You know what carpe diem is? Kind of fish, fish bait. He's cute, but he ain't the smartest. Now, Roxanne better fall in love with Charlie with his his large nose and awe. He deserves love just how he is. <laughs> you okay? That's these guys. I'm always cracking them up. You see, this way I can I can plan out what to say. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, Andy. You did get a fire started. The worst fire department ever. That's sort of a shading uh, type of an arrangement. Do you have We're going to learn how to contour. Great. Great. Now, Her earrings are obnoxious. I just thought to myself, why doesn't he just look up a YouTube video on how to do it? That didn't exist. That did not exist. Did the internet exist when this movie was made? I don't know. 
I do not remember the last time I saw a pencil sharpener. You're kinda, it's, you, know, it, you get the concept, you're working on it. No, no, I'm not doing anything. No, it's just, uh, just uh, uh, making some eggs. You're not gonna offer him any eggs? Quite an operation you have here. Why, thank you. Ask him where the eggs are. If you do, check this box. <laughs> How old are you? 10? Uh, just let me ask you a question. How do you feel about her? He straight up threw to the fire! Yeah, how did you feel when you first saw her? Horny. Let's let's make that more positive and romantic. Like, let's make that more romantic and fluffy. You know, I felt, uh, moved. Yeah, something moved. A uh, child standing <gasps> up. Steve up. Martin with a cat! I love that kitty. Yeah, that, I'm gonna Is that a real cat? The cat did not uh, move at all. What did you do? I don't think it's breathing. I don't think that's a real cat. I've got to focus on the movie again because I'm I'm trying to figure out if that's a real cat or not. Understand what you imagine I'm feeling. It'll work. Oh no! And Roxanne's gonna fall in love with Charlie, but under the guise that it's the other dude. Oh, that really takes the ink. Oh, the food! Wow, he's just gonna leave. Lord, that's not. Oh, it gave me so much anxiety. <laughs> Lord, tie your shoes. Put on some real shoes. Why are you wearing loafers in the firehouse? Take the truck! <laughs> y'all might need the fire truck. Oh my god, y'all a mess. Y'all a mess. Just let go of the truck at this point. Just get off the truck at this point. Snowball. I had a white kitty named Snowball. She was my first cat ever. Snowball. Aww, that little baby hungry. Yeah. Also, that's how I tame the strays in the neighborhood, as I give them cat food or little viney weenies. Because then I take a bite and I give them a bite. But I think, I think you're supposed to put the ladder down. At least they put it down to park, that's good. They didn't put the ladder down. They didn't put the ladder down. What's a light year? Same as a regular year, only it has less calories. <laughs> something from a letter I got. Oh yeah? She's reading his words in front of him, but she thinks it's from the other guy. Whose letter? Chris. He can write. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't actually. What do you want me to do? Ask him out for you? <laughs> How y'all gonna set up a date and not even say the first word to each other? Do. Uh, I'll give you something to memorize and then you can uh, just say it. Oh, I can. Oh, do the earpiece bit. Put the earpiece in the ear and then he'll talk to you. Hi. What an interesting hat you wore for this. This feels like a middle school oh, yes. crush happening right now. Why are you wearing that hat? Uh, Why are you wearing them earrings? Uh, don't panic, stay calm, stay calm. Uh, <gasps> so we are doing the earpiece thing. I love that. Am I your prey? You are a lioness. That's more of a predator instead of a prey, but I respect it. Car three, car three, proceed to the 279. What? Oh my god, that's so funny. I was getting so uncomfortable, but then the police skater came in, and that's even funnier. Where'd you learn to write like that? Uh, the usual places. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, uh, extemporaneous. What? You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> your, your knockers. Your, no, not your knockers. Oh your my rest, god, rest, you're no. Like, no, well, there you go. You're out. You're done. That was fun while it lasted. I spit everywhere. That was fun while it lasted. June 85. What? Weren't you the playmate of the month, June 85? That didn't work on the other girl. It sure as shit ain't gonna work on an astrologer. Or astronomer. Astronomer. I'll whisper to you what to say. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, this, this can't go wrong. Not all at once. God, this man is so dense. Because I was afraid. Of me? What do you mean? Of what's between us. Because I was afraid of worms, Roxanne. Worms. Word. Word. Come here, come here, come here. You can't even relay words, the messages around. correctly. He's got to even speak for you. And if he's going to write for you and speak for you, then you better let him make love for you, too. Your voice sounds different. 
Girl, I'm gonna need you to be a little bit smarter. I know you didn't find a comet, but can't tell the difference in voices. And when their wings hit the air, I heard your name again. It's, it's cheesy, but it's romantic. I'll respect the grind. Go on. It's working. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Thought it was too much, Chris. And you are trembling, aren't you? Like a leaf on a tree. Clean up on aisle of her panties. Chris. Yes. Wow. He sealed the deal. Charlie, you can't go up there. Charlie, you can't. Oh, this makes me so sad. God, I did it. You did it, but you're not doing it. At Roxanne's house? That's where they are right now. Ah, uh, this is bullshit. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I see what we're doing now. We're going to ruin the moment before they can, like, get too far. We believe that there are creatures from outer space who want to have sex with older women. Maybe. Let's go and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Worth a shot. Girl, them shorts look like you're wearing a diaper. Couldn't Pick up CD. Come on, you know, it's embarrassing. You couldn't get the words out and you couldn't get the thing up. Couldn't do it a third time. Oh. A third time? Beer? Yeah. Strap? Yeah, a little bit. Of... That... Funny. You know where I really want to go? Where? San Francisco. To your house? <laughs> You know, kind of, but not, yeah, uh, I, no, Yeah, I better quit talking no. to you. Oh. I'm Sandy. So they're gonna hook up for what? Ruin the relationship with Roxanne. This to Percha. Okay, that's really cute though. That's cute. Oh, you might need to check on your guys. You definitely need to check on your guys. Well, I know a way to solve this problem. Just move the hose, let the guy fall. Not the best solution, but it is a solution. Girl, you breathing heavy to a letter. I don't think that cat's real. Oh, what a cute little fedora. With the sunglasses, it's a fit. It's a choice. What can you sit on, sleep on, and brush your teeth with? I don't know. A chair, a bed, and a toothbrush. I wish I could go back in time and not hear that joke ever. Warm Roxanne called. She's coming to town. He picked up around 6.30. What? Why did we not know about this? No, don't tell him about the letters. Let him, let him sleep in the bed he's made. And you swoop in and save the day. Uh, Shelly, that's illegal. That's a federal offense. There you go. Wow, I'm surprised he picked up on that plan. Oh, no! I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to see you. Oh, that's sweet. I want to know the real you. No, not the real me. The one. <laughs> it ain't the one you think it is. I'm feeling a little. Uh, I'm not feeling good, Roxanne. I gotta go. How many times are you gonna let this same boy break your heart? Like, move on. Realize your worth. You coming or not? He's leaving with her. I figured they would hook up. I didn't know he was gonna leave with her. What is she uh, doing now? Uh, occasionally. Read it with feeling from your heart. C.D. wrote this, call me Dixie. Dixie showed it, tell on you. you I can't tell if she's upset. She's upset, she's upset, she punched him, she's upset. You were playing with my emotions. I wasn't playing with it, you could have figured it out. Oh, so now it's he was trying to set you up with the guy you were interested in. He can't help it that Chris was dumb as a sack of potatoes. You went to bed with him on your first date. You still went to bed with him awfully fast. And multiple times from what I've heard. Just get out. T technically he is out. Second I am out. You get in. <laughs> oh, get, get in. There's a fire somewhere. Fire, fire, fire. Get in the they they had to wait for him to tell them that? I don't know why I do this when I have braids, but it feels kind of fun. You know what? I don't think I'm much different than Chris. <laughs> A shot that's on fire. Shelly, who hurt you so bad that you flinched at that? Ah, <gasps> oh, that's so nice! You have a beautiful, great 
big flesh and bone nose. Can we find something else? A, another positive attribute to give him? I don't know who his stunt double was for this movie, but damn, it's a good one. Just twi- just a- just like this. There you go! Ah! Yay! See? Mmm. Sensual saxophone is back. We going inside. How inside are we going? Locked up. Ah, uh, the movie came full circle. I love that. Oh, I thought we were gonna see some silhouettes in them upstairs windows. Oh, the comet she found. All right, let's talk about it. You know what? I have to say, number one, number one. Again, I love Steve Barton. I don't have to keep telling you that, but I'm going to. I feel like this movie, you know, the concept of there being somebody, you know, the hot guys kind of dumb and the the not conventional conventionally attractive man is the one that's giving the hot guy all the words. Like that's a tale that is old as time. But I love the spin of this one. Am I letting my Steve Martin bias come through for this? Possibly. He was funny. You know, it was just a giant nose, but he was so witty because it established early on that he had a way with words. Original insults in the bar when the guy with the caterpillar eyebrows insulted his nose. And I'm 98% sure that Daryl Hannah was the one that was in Grumpy Old Men. Oh shit! Wait a second! Wait a second! I have seen her in a lot more than I realized. Who was she in Still Magno? She was in Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2. She was the one-eyed nurse, wasn't she? Still Magnolias? Who was she in Still Magnolias? She was a now in Still Magnolias? I what? Oh my god. So I've seen her in a lot more. I thought I was proud of myself for recognizing her from Grumpy Old Men. Now I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't realize I've seen literally Kill Bill 1 and 2. Still Magnolias, Grumpy Old Men, and now Roxanne. I have seen five movies with her and I just knew her from one. <laughs> Good God. You know what? This movie is so cute. Although that's a basic plot, this movie is a lot of fun. It's witty. It's funny. You have like the random fire, the random firehouse scenes and like I just thought it was just going to be like little jokes at the firehouse but then they ended up saving the cow. So that was nice. That came full circle. And the movie came full circle. It, um, you know, it started with her locking herself out of the house and then Steve was like, oh no, my door's locked. And I just think that's so cute. Why isn't this movie more talked about? I wish this was more of an 80s staple. Steve Martin, who's an icon as himself. A rom-com, which the 80s were chock full of. Why isn't this one more talked about? This is very cute. If you have not seen Roxanne, you need to see it. For my scale, this might be my number one Steve Martin movie. This is this is a great movie. I laughed so much. It was so witty. It was so quick. And I never got bored during it, you know? I'm giving Roxanne 1987 five out of five stars. Thank you so much, TJ, for suggesting this film. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around if you want to. Uh, links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTubeverse. And actually... Monday's video is, or Monday's movie is actually up on a poll on Patreon right now. You know what? I'll go ahead and check. I mean, I just posted it the day that I'm filming this. I'll go ahead and see if there's a clear, like, forerunner in the poll. It looks like there is a clear winner here. We got Seepless, what? We have Sleepless in Seattle pulling ahead by quite a few votes. So I think it's safe to say that that's what's coming up Monday. So I'll see you right back here for that. Until then, hope you have a great weekend. Bye!